हेलो हेलो गाइस कैन यू हियर मी इज माई साउंड ओके इज माई इंटरनेशन फॉल राइस वट डू यू फील वट सेट साउंड मैनी साउंड राइट यू आर फीलिंग स्ट्रेस्ड नो इट्स नॉट दैट स्ट्रेस इज अ सुप्रा सेगमेंटल फीचर ऑफ साउंड many sounds early in the morning and i'm recording this you have to bear with the all those distractions okay so this is class 63 of kerala psc hsa english classes and today's topic is stress rhythm and intonation from the module linguistics phonetics and intonation so let's get started stress may be described as the degree of force with which a sound or syllable is pronounced every syllable is uttered with a certain degree of sound and the one uttered with the greatest degree of force is called the stressed or accented syllable the stressed syllable is said to receive primary or tonic stress or accent and the syllable next to that in the degree of force of utterance is said to receive secondary stress or accent we mark the stressed syllable or primary accent with a short vertical stroke on top at the beginning of the syllable secondary stress is marked with a short vertical bar below and at the beginning of the syllable in english words the accent is both free and fixed it is free in the sense that it is not associated with a particular syllable in all the words of english and fixed in the sense that the main accent always falls on a particular syllable of any given word another difficulty about english word accent is due to shift in the accent quite common in derivatives for example politics political politician some words when um, used as nouns or adjectives the accent is on the first syllable and when they are used as verbs the accent is on the second syllable and there are also words which are accented on the same syllable whether they are used as nouns or as verbs it's really confusing in most compound words in english that is words composed of two separable words the primary accent falls on one of the two elements usually the first others have double stress and there are a few compound words with ever and self with primary accent on the second element such as herself himself whatever whenever etc and there are also compound words in which both the elements are accented afternoon bad tempered homemade etc so there are no rules as such for determining this word accent in english but there are some hints words with weak prefixes have the primary accent on the root uh, as in ahead because the inflectional suffixes ed es and ing do not affect the accent submit submitted bus buses play playing the derivational suffixes age ends n s full hood ice ish ive less le ment ness or ship ter or and zen do not normally affect the accent words ending in i o n take the primary stress on the penultimate syllable that is a syllable preceding the last 
കൾട്ടിവേഷൻ ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ വേർഡ്സ് എൻഡിങ് ഇൻ ഐ സി ഐ സി എ എൽ ഐ സി എ ഡബിൾ എൽ വൈ ഐ എ എൽ ഐ എ എൽ എൽ വൈ ഐ ടി വൈ ഐ ഒ യു എസ് ആൻഡ് ഐ എ എൻ ഹാവ് ദ പ്രൈമറി ആക്സെൻ്റ് ഓൺ ദ സിലബൾ ഇമ്മീഡിയറ്റ്ലി പ്രൊസീഡിങ് ദ സഫിക്സ് വി ക്യാൻ ഗോ ത്രൂ ദ എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് ഇൻ കണക്റ്റഡ് സ്പീച്ച് ഇൻ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ഓൾ ദ വേർഡ്സ് ആർ നോട്ട് അറ്റേർഡ് വിത്ത് ദ സെയിം സ്ട്രെസ് ദ മോസ്റ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് വേർഡ്സ് ആർ യൂഷ്വലി കണ്ടൻറ് വേർഡ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് നൗൺസ് വേർബ്സ് ആഡ്ജക്റ്റീവ്സ് ആഡ് വേർബ്സ് ഡെമോൺസ്ട്രേറ്റീവ്സ് ആൻഡ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വേർഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദേ ആർ യൂഷ്വലി സ്ട്രെസ്ഡ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ക്ലാസ് വേർഡ്സ് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് പ്രപ്പോസിഷൻസ് കൺജംഗ്ഷൻസ് ആർട്ടിക്കിൾസ് പേഴ്സണൽ പ്രൊണൗൺസ് ഓക്സിലറീസ് റിലേറ്റീവ് പ്രൊണൗൺസ് എക്സെട്ര ആർ സെമാൻറ്റിക്കലി ഇൻസിഗ്നിഫിക്കൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ആർ നോട്ട് യൂഷ്വലി സ്ട്രെസ്ഡ് In connected speech, the choice of the word receiving primary accent depends on the meaning the speaker uh, wants to convey. For example, in the sentence, she laughed. If the speaker wants to emphasize that it was she and not anyone else who laughed, the primary accent will be on she. She laughed. On the other hand, if laughed is to be emphasized, then the primary accent will be on that word she laughed thus the meaning conveyed by an utterance largely determines the accentual pattern in connected speech next topic is rhythm english is a language with a stressed timed rhythm this means that in english stressed syllables tend to occur at regular intervals of time such a phenomenon of certain features occurring at regular intervals of time is is called isochrony so stress in english is isochronous next um topic is a very uh, small one which is the uh, strong and weak forms many common english words have two or more forms of pronunciation one strong form and one or more weak forms this phenomenon is known as gradation that is the existence of two or more pronunciation for the same word the strong forms are used when these words are accented or when pronounced in isolation and the weak forms when they are unaccented a weak form is generally distinguished from the strong by uh, first of all the difference of a vowel sound as in have have becomes have then the dropping of a sound as in his is and the reduction of the length of sounds as in he and he next topic is intonation when we talk about intonation another term also comes which is the pitch in connected speech the pitch of the voice is continually you know rising and falling the pitch of the voice is determined by the rate at which the vocal cords vibrate that is their frequency of vibration the more rapidly the vocal cords vibrate the higher will be the pitch so the term intonation is used to cover both the pattern of changes in the pitch of the voice and the terminal contour now what is terminal contour terminal contour is the end of a stress okay so intonation refers to significant changes of pitch and stress in relation to utterances in other words utterance bound pitch is called intonation falling and rising are the two basic intonation types a pitch movement from a low to a high pitch taking place within a single syllable is referred to as a rising intonation pattern and a pitch movement from a high to a low pitch is referred to as a falling intonation the two can be combined and the word uttered bringing the pitch down and letting it go up again such a pitch movement is called a fall rise intonation 
the term tonic or ton may be used to refer to fall rise or fall rise that is the type of pitch movement within a single syllable we will make pauses at certain points when we speech so such a pause may be called a tone group boundary and the tone group boundary is indicated with a double bar tone group boundaries divide an utterance into tone groups each tone group is a stretch of utterance between two pauses that is two tone group boundaries there are three things about an utterance before we mark its intonation tonality tonicity and tonic tonality comes when we want to give emphasis to a particular item of information in an utterance and we give it the status of a tone group and tonicity uh, is given importance to the syllable carrying the tonic which is called the nucleus or the nuclear syllable and now tonic decides that type of intonation rise fall or fall rise tonics are marked with short strokes slanting upwards left for fall and right for rise a shift in a tonic or a choice of a particular uh, tone depends upon the context the emotional attitude of the speaker and also upon whether he wants to interpret it as a statement a question a command or a request a fall rise tone is used in declarative sentences wh questions commands exclamations and tag questions and rising tone is used in incomplete utterances when you say a list something like that and uh, declarative sentences also when used as questions then yes or no questions wh questions also when asked in a warm friendly way then in polite request and also in tag questions where the speaker wants the listener to answer his question and give information instead of uh, just confirming or agreeing to his statement as is generally done in tag questions then fall rise tone is uh, used when the speaker implies things which are not explicitly stressed the listener should understand more than a literal interpretation of the words for example take the sentence the girl is pretty from the sentence the speaker really wants to convey that the girl is looking very beautiful but if it is uttered with a fall rise the girl is pretty it implies that she is pretty but she is you know um, is stupid or maybe something derogatory inner meanings will be there hope you understood so that's all about uh, stress rhythm and intonation please bear with all external disturbances or voices if you find it distracting can't do anything about it so next we are moving on to the module modern english uh, usage our next topic is commonly confused words so this list of words uh which are often confused will not end i'll have to make classes and classes on this so i will discuss some of those words and the rest you have to work on your own find more words and analyze the difference between those words so check out the words and learn prepare well stay tuned with the channel i love you all thank you for all your love and support